Hey guys, this is Michal from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook Messenger design with the newest Bootstrap 5 and Material Design to Zero by using MDB UI Kit. Please, be aware, this will be rather advanced coding session, so you need to know HTML, CSS and Bootstrap to follow the tutorial. This is important because I won't go into every detail while coding, assuming you already know the basics. If you don't feel that your knowledge of HTML, CSS and Bootstrap is good enough, that's ok. Use our free tutorials, link in the description, to learn these basics. Then come back here and start advanced project like this Messenger app. In this project, I am using MDB Pro, so you need to purchase it to follow this tutorial. But enough talking, let's start coding. Open index.html in your MDB Pro package. Then let's remove existing content. And as always, we'll start with creating a basic uh, structure. So let's create header. Let's create main. And of course, footer. Now we need to create a navbar. So go to MDB Docs and in the search box let's type navbar. In the right column in a scroll spy you can see advanced examples and specifically we are interested in Facebook style example. So as you can see here we have three columns with icons and a search box which is a typical design for now Facebook navbar. So let's copy this code and paste it inside our header. So let's save the file and see how it works. Mm, and it's fine. So as you can see when we resize the window the center column disappear and the search box disappear as well so everything fits as it should um, so it's just fine now let's take care of the main section so as you can see here we have three columns so we are going to use a bootstrap grid, specifically a grid with three columns inside. So of course we need a container, we need a row, and now three columns. So call md3 and let's say the center column should be bigger alright and actually the right column is slightly bigger than the left column and one more thing as you can see here the content is stretched full width so instead of a regular container we need to use container fluid later of course we we will adjust our grid so it will be exactly like this here but right now let's just start with um, net this construction we'll start with the first column and actually we can add some comments here so it will be a bit clearer to us um left column center column and the right column to create this contact list we can use list group component so in mdb docs in the component section go to list group 
and let's see it's actually these are all no clickable elements so we can use some buttons for example or links doesn't matter so let's use this component links and let's paste it here and let's see how it works all right and already I can see I can see already this column is too big so let's make it a bit smaller so here we can add an extra space yes now it's better and now let's customize this list group as you can see here this uh, this um, uh, list has no borders but here we have a border so now we'll write some custom class so let's say list group naked because it has no borders and now at the top of our project let's write some custom CSS list group naked and list group item because we want to we want to add custom styles specifically for this items inside the list group so background color transparent and border set to none all right so now we should set some um, uh, some um, uh, background color uh, on hover so we can do this by writing list group item action focus list group item action Hover, background color, some light gray, doesn't work. All right, I forgot the dot here. Now should be fine. All right, it's fine. Now let's create this specific avatars with names which will serve as, as a contact list. So here in our list we can add EMG element and as a source image let's add some avatars and I'm, I'm using the avatar I've prepared before and we need some some bootstrap class border and rounded cycle to make it well cycle and let's see how it looks right now it's definitely too big so let's add style and let's set high to 40 pixels now it's better and here we will add strong element and inside this we'll type a name John Doe classic all right, wait. Oh, it's here, but it should be black, so... We, I suppose we need to... This 
link element we should add class text reset now it's fine with a text reset class you can remove the uh, styles and, um, add it by default to the a element to the link element and uh, thanks to this it's uh, uh, it's it just black as it should be by default all right so you can basically copy this we can copy this below to create more contacts now let's see all right so of course you can add another avatars and uh, another names I will leave it to you because it's not that important uh, regarding this tutorial you can do it on your own and apart from the contact list we also need to add this element this is a small UI which allows us to uh, to um, do some additional actions so above the list Let's create a div and we'll use a flex box to align it properly. So let's add the flex to enable flex box and justify content between to enable a specific mode necessary, necessary for this uh, specific component. And now let's say, oh, not this, I need a paragraph, paragraph and strong element inside your contacts. Let's see, all right. And as you can see, uh, one additional mode, uh, we should add some margin here between our main and our header because um, right now they are definitely to close uh, this uh, this this layout needs more space so what we can do we can add to our main element margin top let's say five maybe too big margin top four all right now it's okay Coming back to our contact list and we should add some margin to the left side here that it will be better aligned with you now with the contact list. So in Bootstrap 5 in the latest beta version no, we don't add margin left and margin right by typing by using ml and m right class because it has changed right now we we are using this the same way as we use flexbox so instead of margin left we use margin start and instead of margin right we use margin end and um, if you don't know why they change it, it's because RTL support, but it's much bigger topic. So I'm not going to talk about this in this tutorial. So let's just add margin start instead of margin left to our paragraph. And let's say, it, let's say three. All right, it's okay. Now it's fine. So now we need these three icons and these are actually buttons I suppose and let's add another div element and let's add um, so actually let's go to mdb docs and let's search for buttons and we are going to use this naked 
button button link all right but instead of a regular word we will use icon so here is the icon of um, video it's a pencil I suppose and some cock and let's add the first icon so again in MDB docs let's search for icons and cog oh here here it is and replace link warp with this icon and let's see how it works all right it's okay so Actually, we can make it a bit smaller. So let's just add button SM. And we also want to make a padding inside the button smaller. So we can add um, padding to. And now, now it's fine. Let's copy this button three times and let's add another icons video video here and edit. Here, this or this, whatever you like the most. Now it's fine. And one more thing, as you can see, this paragraph isn't perfectly aligned with um, the icons. So what we can do is to add margin top, let's say one to the paragraph here. Again, and now is better. All right, now it's fine. Now let's take care of the center column. So, actually, the chat. So we need to create this um, nice uh, cloud, the message cloud, with avatars. So let's take care of it. Here we have our center column. And we can start by creating this small header with an avatar. And actually you can start with creating a section to provide a proper uh, proper uh, structure to our project. Yes. And we can call it messages. And let's create a div. And we will use a flexbox here by using deflex class and now let's add an avatar we can use the same avatar as here so let's copy this entire element with an uh, AMG, AMG element and a strong element Let's paste it here. Oops. All right, or maybe we don't need a flexbox here. Let's see. Now it's fine. So 
So let's add some divider. Got to save. All right. Yeah, something like this. And now the chat itself. I'm going to create the two divs and let's comment this. The first div will be a um, single message interlocutor inter locutor locutor I cannot spell this correctly I'm sorry no and the second div will be single message me because this is what the chat is about so me and my interlocutor talking together so we'll probably need a flexbox here so I'm going to enable this here and let's uh, justify justify content start And I'm going to use avatar here. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's use another avatar. All right. And now let's add a message itself. Lorem ipsum. Fine. And now to style this to looks like this, we'll need to style this specific paragraph. So we will use some uh, MDB classes to do this. BG light for the light gray background. And Maybe some padding. Let's see. All right, this gray is really, really light. So I'm not even sure you can see, but it's here. So for example, if we replace this BG light to BG primary, primary, now it's visible, right? But let, let's stay with BG light for this specific message and we want this paragraph this cloud to have some maximum width because we don't want to stretch it the full width we want it to look exactly like this so as you can see this cloud has something like 533 pixels width so we are going to use the same width here. Style max width 533 pixels. All right. And actually these avatars are smaller than this. Here is like 30 pixels, so we can change this instead of 40 let's say 30 all right now it's okay and we also need to add we also need to add time but I think in this template here is a mistake because it should be below the message anyway let's add below the paragraph 
small element and let's add some time 14 14 52 all right um it should be inside the paragraph all right and now we want to now we want to pull this to the right side so to the small element we'll add class float and um, a few weeks ago we will add float uh, right but um, mm, with this change the same as with uh, margin uh, and um, uh, padding classes so instead of margin left as I said before we mm, add margin uh, margin start and the same with floats class so instead of float right we need to add float end and let's see if it works now it works yes correctly maybe we can add some margin top to this now it's better yeah the visibility is definitely better So we can take care, I think, of the second message. So let's copy this and let's paste it to this single message me, but instead of instead of um, uh, BG light, we'll use BG primary. We want to differ differentiate this from um, the message of our interlocutor, and we of course need to add text white to provide the proper contrast. Now it's better, and it should be uh, on the right side. So instead of justify content start, we can add justify counter end. All right, now it's correct. Let's change the time one second later. And as you can see, these corners have no border radius we can add this by adding class rounded rounded and let's say 2 alright now they are slightly rounded so we can add this here as well however with this light background it's barely visible but nevertheless, it's here as well. And let's change the avatar. All right. And of, of course, we need some space here between the avatars and between this cloud. So let's add margin and let's say 2, 2 is ok, margin and 2, the same here, and it's fine. So do we need something more here, let me see, I think everything is ok. So now we can duplicate this. And one more. All right, our chat is ready. So there is one column left, right column with um, the light box. 
So let's take care of this right now. Well, we can start by creating this avatar with a name and with the status. So let's use this avatar, or actually the avatar of our interlocutor. But maybe we can we can increase the size of the image to let's say 80. Alright, it's even it's too small, so let's say 100 better. Alright. And let's well maybe we should place this inside the section so we can we can align the content easily, so section interlocutor data alright let's add text center alright, 100 now it's fine. Let me see. I think we're missing one. All right, four. Yes, now it's better because uh, I noticed that uh, after mm, after mm, changing the first column to two. I forgot to change um, the last column to 4, so it sum up to 12 as it always should be in Bootstrap Grid. Right now it's fine, so we have 2, 6 and 4 which sum up to uh, 12 as it should be. Now it's fine. Now we can add some shadow to this avatar. Let's say shadow strong, shadow 2, well wait, 2 strong. Yeah, but if we use shadow, we don't want to use border. Exactly. Now it's fine. And let's add a name. Be strong. I'm not going to be original, so let's say John. Do. And some margin bottom would be nice here all right and another paragraph for status all right and to no, to decrease the space between this uh, and this paragraph will add margin bottom and let's say 2 to the name is it fine yes I think it's okay however this is a bit smaller so we can change this to 1 all right and now we can add a divider Let's save this, all right. And now it's time for a light box. So let's create another section. Let's call it light box. add some title share photos and text center all right 
go to MDB Docs and search for Lightbox. And we can copy this basic example, paste it here. And let's see if it works. Yes, it works. So, additionally, you can see this, um, uh, uh, these thumbnails have shadows. We can add them as well. Let's say shadow one strong here. One strong. All right, and we want to uh, we want also to decrease the space between columns, and we can do this um, by decreasing the gutters gap. Uh, so inside the layout section here in the columns docs, I suppose. Let's see. Ah, no, here, gutters, there is a separate page for this. So, all right. So we need to add G, X, because it's X axis, and the number to the row element to specify how big gutter should be. Let's try this, G, X, 1. One is definitely too small. Let's see two. Two is okay. And let's also add corner uh, rounded corners to the images. And it works as it should. So I'm not going to add. Uh, I'm not going to add more pictures. You can do it on your own because it's uh, it's um, uh, very easy. Mm, uh, so I'm just leaving this to you. And the last thing we now will create is this sticky footer with uh, the input message and the buttons to send the message and to add some, uh, I don't know, stickers mm, uh, or emoji, whatever. It's um, typical for every chat. So inside the center column, below the messages section, we'll add another section. And let's name this message input. can see this message input is fixed and that means when we scroll the chat it always it's always visible all right so inside this section let's add some card and card board oh sorry card 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 body. And now we will add a form inside this. And we'll enable Flexbox inside by adding the Flex class. And on the left side we have one button. In the middle we have input and on the right we have another button. So we've used buttons many times before, so let's add button element type button class button button primary prime primary yes. And let's 
set padding inside to 3 and we also need to add this plus icon so if I remember correctly it's like E F S F A S F A plus all right it's plus circle I suppose plus circle no circle yes now it's fine then we need a text area so let's go to mdb docs inside the forms and input fields here we have text area component so let's copy this paste it here all right but let's place this inside the div i'm sorry div so we can add some class to stretch this we will use w100 which means now with set to 100 percent all right now you can see it's stretch and let's add um, margin x to and uh, here is a typo mx2 all right and instead of four rows in this text area because it's um, it's too big now let's set it to one now it's fine and let's add the second button on the right side of this it's it's a button with a thumb icon Oh, so let's search for this icon because I don't remember how it, uh, how, uh, what, what's, what's the syntax, uh, what's the proper syntax for this? Thumb, thumbs up, all right. Now it's fine. And now we want to make it fixed to the bottom of the page the same as here we can do this by adding fix bottom to the section element let's see if it works yes it works What's more, we also uh, we can also make the left and right cones sticky, the same as here. So actually, only the center col uh, the center column is uh, scrollable, and we can easily do this. Uh, we can easily do this by adding uh, class. I'm sorry. Here is the left column. All right, so let's wrap this inside the, the section, MS uh, section, like this. And now by adding to this section, sticky top, you can see it stays sticky the same as the footer and we can do the same with the right column sticky top um, no the problem
problem is that we should wrap all of this content uh, all of this content um, uh, inside the section and this section should be sticky now uh, as you can see uh, I made a mistake because I add the sticky top class only to this uh, section with this avatar uh, and only this section became sticky so right now we need to cut this out and paste it inside the section and now by adding sticky top class as you can see it's also as well it's sticky and I think I think we finish the project so that's it thank you uh, for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoy this.